what are the requirements when you are applying for a multiple entry visa here in canada multiple entry visa approved in two weeks no show money no age limit stay with me until the end of this video if this is your first time my name is sarah buyukan and i love to share about life reality here in canada so uh what i share with you guys is just based on my own experience when i apply for my parents and my mother-in-law here in canada first of all kindly please go and check the official canada website canada.ca or cic.gc.ca it's because you need to check if you are eligible to enter canada at this time of pandemic because um the travel rules there is always a changes almost like we don't know so when you are applying for a multiple entry visa here in canada it's either you can apply through online or through a paper base so when we are talking about multiple entry visa this uh, sometimes it depends on the validity of your passport it's just because uh, i noticed that to my mother-in-law when we applied her multiple entry visa here in canada uh, the immigration officer gave her a 10-year multiple entry visa based on her uh, validity of her passport okay and when i apply for my mom and dad uh, visit visa here in canada the immigration officer gave them five years multiple entry visa it's because of the validity of their passport is five years so i was thinking sometimes it depends on the validity of your passport okay the immigration either give you five years or ten years uh like multiple entry visa you can back and forth in canada to your own country okay but uh, the validity for a multiple entry visa means to say you are allowed to stay here in canada for six months for six months if you want to extend your stay for at least another six months you can do uh apply for the extension okay so let's say the immigration give you a 10-year multiple entry visa here in canada so the validity of your stay here is six months so before six months if you want to stay in canada you have to apply for the extension if you already stay here for more than six months you have to pay the restoration fee is 200 canadian dollars so if you want to save that 200 canadian dollar uh you have to do the like extension five months or four months stay in canada and then you don't have to pay 200 canadian dollar when you do the extension stay here in canada the waiting is at least three to six months uh because when i did for my parents i let my mom and dad stay here for more than six months before i did the extension that's why i had to pay 200 each of them so i paid 400 canadian dollar and then we waited the extension for uh like six months my parents were so worried like where is our extension here in canada i said never mind you guys you're okay because we pay the restoration fees so immigration know about that okay so you don't have to worry once you submit your extension plus your restoration fees if you think you are overstaying in canada and then you don't have to worry the immigration know about that they are the one who decide how long you're going to stay here more in canada okay the reason why i said there's no age limit for this because there's no age limit okay so you can visit canada as long as you have the reason why the purpose why you come to visit in canada okay so let's say the all elderly people like our parents from overseas if they want to come visit us here even though they are sitting in a wheelchair it's okay and if they are if they're in their 80s or 90s as long as they have a good health condition to come and visit us here then why not when you pay your own application fees even though you apply for a paper base you need to apply for online when you pay your fees okay uh, i paid 100 canadian dollar and then you need to attach that fees receipt to your application and that is very important guys okay because once you submitted your application it's incomplete they will going to return it back to you your applications when you are applying for a visit visa here in canada immigration officer is the one who is going to decide if they're going to give you a single visa or a multiple entry visa it all depends on your application there is no show money for this when you are inviting your parents to come and visit or your grandparents to come and visit here in canada so i did this probably three times four times and that's my own experience so i know there is no show money for that because my mom and dad have no money in philippines uh but it all depends on how you write down in your invitation letters okay you have to tell the immigration officer that you the daughter or the wife or the husband children here in canada inviting your parents or your relatives to come visit you here in canada you have 
to say in your invitation letter that you are the one who is responsible to take care of everything so that's how i did in my uh invitation letter that is submitted to the immigration uh this is very important the document checklist okay it's in the document checklist i have to put extra documents i have to show to the immigration that i have the ability to invite this person to come and stay here in canada with me is because i have some proof that i am able to take care of these people while they are in canada okay and that is one of the secret okay one lady told me she was been denied four times when you are inviting some people to come here in canada you have to make a proof uh, to the immigration officer that you as a person in canada you can take care of this person while this person is visiting us here in canada you as a visitor uh, planning to come here in canada you need to have a letter to the immigration you have to explain yourself why you want to come and visit here in canada you have to prove to the immigration that you have a very strong ties in your own country that you promise to yourself that you will go back to your own country and you have no intention to stay in this country in canada that is why sometimes immigration officer if you don't have that strong uh, family ties in your own country sometimes they will just deny you when you are doing your letter you have to be honest yourself too okay like uh, for me when i did my invitation letter i have to prove to the immigration that my parents have no uh, intention to stay in canada and you know what guys i think i'm going to make a video a separate video for that and i'm going to show the example of the letter of invitation i think it's a good idea i'm going to share it to you guys actually this is the longest letter <laughs> this is this is the letter that i make to my uh, mom and dad and this one is notarized notarized by a lawyer or a commission of all something like that and i will let you read all my documents so you can just copy you know for your parents or your friends so in your visitor visa you submit your uh, letter of uh, invitation your valid passport your some ids your birth certificate extra documents that you have to attach is your uh, letter of employment your latest pay stubs your id your driver license your birth certificate and some like life insurance if you have life insurance because that's how i attach to my uh, uh, application my life insurance here some investments if you have some investments your driver license your permanent resident card those are the things that i attach extra to the document checklist okay because it wasn't here and a birth certificate proven that if you are inviting your parents you have to prove like you are the mom you are the daughter who is inviting them to come here in canada your tax assessment t4 or even you are outside in canada because if you have your own employment in your own country you can attach all those uh, like a tax assessment or your pay stub you know the latest pay stub if you have those proof you're doing your own business in your own back home you have to prove all those make a copy and attach them and explain in your letter something to impress the immigration officer that you have no intention to stay in canada anyway <laughs> okay most of the people who like to come and visit canada they will come and see and they have to experience the life here in canada and that's the time they realize if they will like to stay here or they will just uh, go back to their countries okay so as i said in many times in my other youtube videos like visiting this visitor visa there's a possibility that you come to visit in canada and at the same time while visiting if you have a luck and so happen you find an employer who want to employ you to work in canada and that's the possibilities okay or you come to canada as a visitor visa and you change your mind you have enough money and then you want to convert your visit visa into a student visa something like that okay so those are the possibilities but if you are inside canada you want to do like student visa you need to ask help from an immigration consultant okay don't ask me because uh, I'm just only giving you these tips because <laughs> I'm, I'm only giving you these tips, okay? And I'm not an immigration consultant and I'm not an agent here in Canada, okay? So these are the informations that you can do, the possibility, but you need to ask people like a immigration consultant, professional people who are doing all these jobs, 
who can assist you and help you okay so let's just pretend okay so let's just pretend the immigration approve you for a multiple entry visa in canada so when you are buying your ticket to canada you have to make it sure you have to buy your two-way ticket okay so upon entry to the check-in sometimes they have to uh see your uh return ticket in your own country okay so that it's happened to my parents all the time so when they come to canada i always buy their two-way ticket so most of the two-way ticket that i buy is good for validity for one year so sometimes when it's uh like after one year if they still want to stay in canada then you know the returning ticket is just not no more okay so sometimes i'm wasting money for that i swear sometimes i'm wasting money for that and but you know the most important the person you are inviting to come in canada is in canada with you so upon your entry in canada the port of your entry this is the most important okay i have a separate video about the questions and answer upon arrival to the port of your entry here in canada so during this time of pandemic as i said you have to be aware uh go to the canada website to the official canada website okay guys to update yourself what are the requirements to enter canada at this time of pandemic to the port of your entry sometimes immigration officer will ask you a question so whatever you write down in your letter in your application it has to be to be the same when you are answering questions to the immigration officer so the possible questions to the port of your entry why are you in canada who you visiting here in canada what is your address here in canada how long are you going to stay here in canada so how long you stay here in canada whatever you write down in your applications let's say six months okay say i'm going to stay here for six months possible questions the officer might say are you going to come and work in canada you have to say no okay visitor visa you are not coming to work in canada that is illegal okay so you have to know that if your answer is not sure then they might just have a question mark you have to make it sure you know the address where you're going to stay here in canada that's why for my parents when they come to canada i have to let my dad write down in a small piece of paper i told him to write put in your wallet is in case they will ask you what is your address in canada and then you have to show it to them and with my name okay with my name and my contact number just to make it sure if in case they will contact you or if you are confused about the english you cannot answer they can call me and i will answer them okay uh especially for us if we are inviting our parents or grandparents to come visit us here in canada if they need a wheelchair ac wheelchair assist uh when you buy their ticket you already tell the people you have to say um I need a wheelchair assist for my parents so upon check in to your own country whatever country you check in the people already know that your parents need a uh, like assistance for a wheelchair they are the one who take care for that until your parents arrive to your waiting area my my parents they were being approved in two weeks okay my mother-in-law was being approved in one month my mother-in-law was been approved on the February of 2020 last year. Immigration might ask you if how much money you have in your pocket to support yourself while you stay in Canada. So you have to make it sure you have some at least pocket money or it depends. As I said, in your application, you write it down how much is the amount of money uh, you have to support yourself in Canada, right? so as i said whatever you write it down you have to make it sure you have in your pocket because they might ask you where's your money can you show me if you have this type of money okay so immigration know everything whatever you write it down in your applications they know okay so technologies uh so as i said don't ever lie in your own application if you are applying to come and visit canada okay and i think that's all <laughs> i think that's all guys so anyway welcome to canada it's almost end of the year now so good luck to all your applications and i'll see you in canada take care everyone and god bless